The next stage we'd like to do is what we call the spent. Spent caddis. It's when you know, all bugs die sooner or later, just like people. <coughs> Excuse me. And oftentimes they fall in the water. And I found that a very effective pattern to simulate the St. Vrain caddis as a spent wing is uh, to use the same color thread but go to a cream colored body. The yellow thread will bleed through this cream body and create an even paler appearing yellow body. You can see how that yellow thread is beginning to show through this cream. And we're going to try to dub this on here pretty tight and make it not quite as meaty looking as the adult that we just tied. It's still going to be a reverse taper, but not nearly as dramatic. Remember, this is a dead insect, and we're going to wrap the body a little farther forward into the hackle collar area because of the type of wing I'm going to put on it. I found the perfect wing for a dead caddis, and that is from a dead duck. The, uh, the beautiful blonde feathers on the breast and stomach of a mallard female duck is perfect for this. They're a nice ginger color. It matches a hackle I'm going to use very well. And once again, it has a little bit of modeling, and it's the right color and the right shape. So if we hold this up here and strip the fibers towards the rear, we can shape our wing. We only need one. Try to get as many, each equal number of fibers from each side. Oh, that's way too big. That's going to be, that's big enough for size 10. Just have to keep playing with it until you get it right. Oh, that's going to be just right. I want this tip to extend beyond the bend by hook gap. So that's where I want it. You have to carefully pull these away so you don't fracture the stem. Zip those guys right off of there. Don't need that so I can cut it off. I'm going to lay this on top of the hook and roll it slightly towards me. If you can see that, roll it slightly, about a 45 degree angle, somewhat like that. I'm going to take one turn of thread right over the top and then another, and I'm going to look at it to see the position. I want it to be perfectly flat. Then I'm going to pull on the stem a little. Now watch what happens right here and on the other side. If I'm lucky, it'll roll down slightly and create a little air pocket under here. I like that. I'm going to continue wrapping. Lift the butt off. Clip it off just to save enough room for your head. And there's the caddis wing. Spent caddis wing. Take another ginger hackle and hackle it as we just did the, uh, the adult caddis. Except once again, we'll make one minor change. Remember, this is a dead fly. And if you've watched dead flies in the water, they don't stand up on their tippy toes. It's kind of a shame sometimes to do what we have to do to a hackle. But uh, if you want to catch fish, I'll do darn near anything to make the fly float right. So we're going to wrap this on just like we did before. five or six or seven turns, whatever it takes. That's about right. You always want to save about a, the space of one hook eye for your head. It's a good, pretty good general all-purpose rule for how big should the head be. You want to save enough room for the, for the final knot, the whip finish. Go on here and clip those guys away. That looks pretty good. I'll just hold those back with my thumb and forefinger and whip finish. Clip that off. I'm not quite done yet. That fly is going to stand up on his tippy toes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and clip everything off the bottom. Right up to the base of the body of the fly. Blow those loose fibers out of there. Now you can see when that fly lands on the water, it's got to land flat on the surface right here. Legs, the uh, fiber sticking out here will help to support it. 
and the wing back here will help to support it. It'll float right in the surface film and look exactly like a dead caddis. It can be deadly. Uh, I have fished during a caddis hatch when the caddis were actually hatching and they would prefer the dead caddis. Oftentimes what that means is the caddis flies have been hatching for a number of days, number of weeks in fact. And oftentimes a trout will decide to key in on a certain phase. It pays to carry as many different phases as, as possible so that when the trout decide that they're going to change their idea from yesterday to today and they want a spent wing caddis today, you've got it. That pretty much takes care of the caddis. You can vary the color. You can go from uh, this pale yellow body to a dark yellow or dark olive body. Uh, you can go with a partridge wing and brown hackle. You can go gray with grizzly hackle. You can, uh, you can pretty much customize it to your needs. That's the basic pattern.